Nick, the storms there knocked down trees in that area. Right, and we've really focused on uh, Milwaukee. There are branches like this little one all over the place. But of course, take a look. This uh, cruise here from the city of Milwaukee, Department of Public Works, have just arrived here at this most recent uh, scene where this branch is down. You can see a pretty large one in the front yard and partially blocking uh, Beethoven here. This is. It certainly kept city crews really busy throughout the day. This is nothing, trust me. <laughs> We take them off houses, off cars, it doesn't matter. The city of Milwaukee workers dove right in. Straight line winds toppled trees and knocked down branches, some of them covering streets like North 48th Street here at Talmadge. We've got a list of storm calls that come through all day because of the quick winds that come through. Something like this, probably straight line winds will rip it out. You know, but yeah, we got a number of calls to go, so I can't be here long. Utility crews like these from We Energies here at 19th and Hope have been crisscrossing the area all afternoon dealing with these scattered power outages. This one from some down power lines here. At one point, there were nearly 6,000 people without power in the city of Milwaukee. The weather also may be to blame for a fire at a vacant house near 15th and Wright that was reported just as the storms rolled through. With a witness saying they saw lightning strike the building. Yeah, initial call was for a lightning strike, but uh, until the investigation is completed, we won't uh, have any conclusive evidence. And you're looking live right now on this uh, cleanup effort underway on Beethoven here. The workers are uh, certainly working a little overtime right now trying to get things cleaned up. As far as those power outages, though, uh, the city of Milwaukee is saying that uh, they have some. Uh, 3,000 outages right now, and they're trying to uh, get that number even lower. We Energy is saying that they'll be working throughout the night. Reporting live here at Beethoven and Sherman Nick Moore, WISN 12 News.